What's going on guys? It's your boy Tor. We're back for another video, man. Holy crap, this one feels good, bro. I've been editing this video for some time now. It's been a, a day or so. And uh, we're bringing back an old series. I keep bringing these back, but you know what? I felt like doing this one this time around. Uh, reason for it is because, you know, for example, with Guild Quest nowadays, um, you know, the meta is basically relying on you having transcended units that can basically take on a quest. It doesn't matter what attribute, just as long as you have the killer and uh, whether or not they're a melee or ranged unit, that's all that really matters. And that's kind of what brought me to wanting uh, wanting to do this series again. Um, so today we're actually taking a look at Candice and uh, Senjumaru, two great units, two recent units that both have killer and they're both melee units. And so I kind of wanted to uh, versus them uh, and see what they really look like in, on paper and see which one's better, if one's better, right? And so, uh, yeah, I'm excited for this one. If you guys want to see uh, some more of these or if you have a suggestion on who I should uh, compare next, again, I'm looking at specifically comparing uh, killers uh, versus killer and, you know, whether or not they're ranged or melee, uh, just classifying them that way because I feel, again, this will be helpful for a guild quest and also just overall uh, a fun series. So, you know, comment down below what you guys think. Give me some ideas on who you'd like to see next. And with that said, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. First character we're taking a look here is actually for uh, Candice, the most recent uh, end of the month. Uh, end, of, end of the month for April is when she came out. And so we're gonna discuss kind of how she is as a character. She's a really, really good unit. Uh, arguably, a lot of people really look at her as the best unit to come out for the first Quincy banner. Uh, to be honest with you, I might not you know, disagree. I, I've come to really like her. Uh, she was the first unit I pulled out of the three and I mean, her gameplay, as you see here, just all throughout, excellent, excellent strong attacks, man. They have amazing range. It's kind of what you look for in a character, right? You want a lunge attack. You want a second strong attack that gets everything in front of them. And then a full screen. That's typically what you want. And it's like no funny business with no like barrier strong attack that takes forever to recharge. It's just a pure damage output type of kit that I really, really like, right? And it, it makes her really, really good. Um, overall, just good gameplay. Even her NAD ends up being pretty nice, right? It has good range. It has really, really cool animations all throughout. And uh, really, really cool character. So I'm going to actually be right back. I want you guys to enjoy the special without me talking, but uh, see you in a moment. And we're back, so here we go. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just break her down as a character, uh, point out her, uh, you know, her pros and point out her flaws. Um, the yellow is what I consider her pros. I mean, she's got perfect, like I had just mentioned right now while we were watching the gameplay, just perfect kit. I love her first, I love her second, and her third. They're just great, great strong attacks. Nothing bad about them. Her normal attack is great as well, even though she's not meant to really be all that great in that area. She's she's good, man. It feels nice. She's got a really good, useful uh, status ailment and even more useful nowadays because of Guild Quest. I feel like uh, Freeze and uh, Paralysis have really stuck out now, in my opinion, for the Guild Quest because it freezes the enemies and they can't do anything, right? Uh, so that makes her really, really good. But not only that, man, not only that, she's actually got a weakened defense on her special. So that makes the enemies, you know, lower their defense and it allows her to input that much more damage. So very useful and that right there is even more useful now like i mentioned because of guild quest she's got insane range on all, all of her attacks again like the lunge it's it's almost a full screen just lunges all the way forward uh first and third just great she's got double flash step so when it comes to getting out of little you know tricky situations in guild quest epic raids anything right she's actually going to be able to get out of the way due to having that double flash step easier than most other characters. So that's a very, very big thing as well about her. And last but not least, in terms of pros, she's got boobs, man. She's got big old titties, bro. Very good, I, I top tier titties in the game. Uh, probably like top three in my opinion. And then uh, last thing, the only thing that's really bad that you can point out is that she doesn't have an accessory uh, that really works with her and that's not her fault that's that's the game not having one available yet i think that'll change in the future but the only uh, negative is that you know you the best 
ideal kit is a fortification pill, tension tie, and Shinji's uh, uh, hat. And, unless I'm forgetting something, but I'm pretty sure that that's the best three accessories you can go with. Uh, all in all, man, Candace is an awesome character, bro. And finally, we've got Senjumaru. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at her now uh, in terms of gameplay, see how she looks. Um, we've got the same kind of build, uh, you know, just recharge time with some uh, strong attack damage links in there. But talking about this Senjumaru, man, really, really cool character. Probably like my second favorite, uh, you know, Zero Squad member. I feel like her strong attacks are really clean. She's got really, really, really good strong attack range. That's like one of the biggest things about it. Uh, but, you know, one thing I don't really like about her is there's a couple things actually. It's that she's got that second strong attack. That second strong attack that uh, inflicts barrier. It just takes forever to recharge. Uh, if, if, you know, if you don't have a recharge time build, let's say you've got some Sinkaimon links in there, that really holds her back. And uh, for example, because of that, and I haven't tried her in Sinkaimon, but I really wouldn't really recommend it due to that fact that she's got that second strong attack. I mean, she's a really cool unit, really cool unique uh, abilities, and I'm actually gonna uh, you know, talk a little bit more about that in, uh, at the end of this uh, little run. Uh, but really cool character. Uh, another thing is the the, the nad string. It's kind of you have to get pretty close up to the enemies, so that's another thing. But uh, guys, I'm gonna dip again real quick. Enjoy her special. I feel like her special is really really clean. And so yeah, I'll be right back to discuss uh, you know her as a character. <laughs> And just like that, we're back. So again, uh, we're gonna go ahead and bring up the uh, pros and cons of this character. Uh, you know, Senjumaru. Uh, she came out what like. A couple months ago I want to say like January was when she dropped end of January uh, or maybe February I, I don't know man either way though cool character uh, one of the zero squad members uh, pros about her is she's got a pretty good kit I wouldn't say it's perfect like I said with Candace but it's a good kit reason I wouldn't say it's perfect is again because of that second strong attack being a barrier that you know requires for a longer recharge time and I don't like that I don't love that about her um, it's a good benefit, but at the same time, there's there's some drawbacks. Uh, she's got a good status ailment, and she's actually the best, uh, you know, uh, lacerate character in the game. She's got really, really cool skills that really help her out, and what that does is it increases the damage output by 40% for characters that have the lacerate and that she inflicts it into, and then also the chance of getting, uh, you know, inflicted increases when she goes up against mind around cards. So that's actually really, really beneficial man when it comes to mind wrong card runs she's gonna kill it she's got really really good range like I had already mentioned and she's an wrong card killer so it's a really really good killer uh, there's a few drawbacks like I had uh, mentioned earlier the nad string just isn't all that great it doesn't have much range you have to get really really close and then uh, her second strong attack again just the barrier uh, but those aren't too bad man for some people actually they prefer that uh, my preference is not uh, you know getting a barrier i'd rather just have pure damage output uh but again it's not too bad for certain people in certain runs as well in certain areas it's actually very beneficial uh last thing is she doesn't have boobs and i'm kidding on that she probably does but you know we can't really see them but anyways uh there you go senju maru as a as a whole she looks really really cool man she's a cool unique character i really really do like her and with that said we come to the conclusion of the video uh just kind of wanted to touch up on both of them at the end Candace is an absolute beast of a character, man. She is so, so good. I mean, as you guys all can already see, she's already destroying guild quests and she's really, really good for that kind of game mode. I feel like just for pure damage output, Candace is gonna be that, that main bitch. Uh, if you're looking for a good co-op character that's gonna, you know, really, really help with uh, the team and, you know, just put in that damage as well, uh, she, you know, you're looking at a Senjumaru. I mean, both are really good for all types of game modes. 
I don't know so much about PvP, but you know, they're really, really good characters. And again, uh, all in all, they both have unique abilities to eat one another. And it's actually really cool to see, man. I really like the fact that Senjumaru is basically like the only really, really good Lacerate character. And then you've got Candice that's absolutely insanely good and has the beautiful animations on everything. Um, yeah, all in all, they're both really great. If I had a preference, I, and I just have to choose, right, because I feel like we're at the end of the video, I have to roll with my girl Candice. She's just really good. Again, I prioritize damage output, and I feel like Candice is just that girl that can do that for you. Senjumaru doesn't fall behind too much, though, because she's really good as well. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, like I said at the start of the video, let me know which one you'd like to see next. Uh, hit the like button, guys. It really does help out a lot. It lets me know that you are enjoying these. And if you guys would like to see the next one, uh, I'll try to get one done for next week whenever the Guild Quest comes out. Anyways, I appreciate you all so much, man. I really, really do. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. And uh, yeah, y'all take care. Peace out.